This is Today. This morning on Today's Style, a 60-second style challenge. Instead of putting off making the transition from summer to fall, we are embracing it. Liliana Vazquez from DailyCandy.com says this can take no time at all, or specifically, 60 seconds, right Liliana? Yes, all you need is a little bit of creativity, the right basics, which I'm going to show you today, and like you said, one minute. Okay, well first let's go through what the summer yes. looks are one by one with our models. So the models have on stuff that everybody has left over from the summer. So Marta here has a great tank top and shorts. Nabila is in a maxi skirt, which we all had from the summer. Huge trend, still carries over to fall. And then we have Kelly down there in a printed dress. It's the kind of dress you probably wore all summer to your weddings. Yeah. And then at the very end, we have everyone's favorite, Greta is in a pair of white jeans. White jeans, and I, I am anxious to see how you pull those <laughs> off for fall, but okay, so we're gonna start our 60 second cl clock. Mm -hmm. Ladies, are you ready? Okay, 60 They're seconds excited starts too. now. They're gonna change into a fall look. Okay, you ready? Yep, go, go. start the clock. <laughs> Okay, so do uh, uh, you think, generally speaking, layering can change yes. a summer look into a fall Layering look? is absolutely critical here, and what you want to do with your layers is you want to add texture and you want to mix fabrics when you're layering. So you're going to see that when I come back. And here's the thing, it doesn't take a lot of money to buy a couple of pieces that you can layer over those summer essentials. Yeah, and you want to keep wearing your summer items because you, you already spent the money on them. You want to Absolutely, transition. and if you're buying new fall stuff, nothing that we added is over $100. Most of it is actually under $50, so you can still be stylish and on trend for the fall and on budget, which is so important. You don't want to have to buy a whole new wardrobe just because it's a new season. I just want to say, you guys did rehearse this. 60 seconds. We I just did. asked the ladies beforehand, was it hard to pull this off? And they were like, yeah. So you got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. How are they doing, by the way? Okay, I, I see one done, have to put two tights done. Um, no, there's no tights involved. I, are you guys done? Raise your hand if you're done. Are you done? Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, so you didn't even need the entire minute. <laughs> Okay, there's the buzzer. All right, okay. let's go one by one and start and start with the shorts, which a lot of people are wondering, how do you make that work? Exactly. Fall? So shorts are just like a skirt. You just need to add tights or something on the bottom. In this case, because it's not quite winter yet, all I did was add a wool knee sock from DKNY and these fantastic boots that have a built-in wedge. They're from victoriasecret.com. Under $80. Boots don't have to be expensive. And of course, the critical piece here is the knit sweater in a light color. You can still wear pale pinks in the fall. And then a fantastic scarf from Sir Alice Jirai. Great oxblood handbag. And how cute are her little gloves? with her sweater. Very cute. Good job, Marta, too. <laughs> okay, Miss Nabila, who's got the maxi skirt on. She How does. Did you do so it? I love a maxi skirt for the fall. You just have to watch the proportions with the jackets that you pair it with. So you want to add a cropped motorcycle jacket. This one is from H&M, under $50. And then her look was really about the accessories. So she's got this great fall felt hat. It yeah. makes a statement under $25. And then her boots are fantastic. They're the ankle fold-over boot, which are the must-have boot for fall. Oh, $47 from Lulu's.com. She looks so adorable. I love this entire but look. But with the maxi dress, you do want the proportion right so you don't look too flowy you don't want and a long too long jacket. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want a hippie look. You want a chic pulled together look. Okay, summer dress. How did Kelly do this? Okay, so we talked about layering earlier. So you can't just, you can also layer with unexpected pieces. So a turtleneck over a dress instantly turns your dress That's into a, good idea. a skirt. Yeah. So any turtleneck that you have in your closet, basic black navy, throw it over those summer dresses. And of course, add ankle boots. Black ankle boots are a must have piece for the fall. Yeah. Right now, she's wearing them without tights, but in the fall, you can also add tights and what that does is it creates a long line uninterrupted and it's very visually slimming the black tight with the black Looks ankle really boot. Good. But putting on tights in 60 seconds. We were not going to try that next time. <laughs> next, right? time. next time we'll go for that one. Okay and last but not least we have Greta and her white jeans. How did you transition Okay so look? white is one of my favorites for the fall but you need to add different textures of white so we added a cream chunky knit sweater for Macy's. This is the only piece that was right about hundred dollars and that's a piece you can carry with you through the fall and the winter and then we added texture in the back bag too. This is a quilted bag from Aldo. To me it looks so polished, so perfect for the new season and she's wearing what might be my favorite shoes for the entire fall. They're these gorgeous deep burgundy velvet pumps from H&M. Under $50 and the reason you want to do a dark shoe is because that's what helps anchor the lighter white winter look. So you are not a person who says you can't wear white after Labor you Day. You can absolutely wear white after. Okay. We're breaking all the rules and the time codes we today. Are. You guys did a great <laughs> job. Thank you so much. We really gave him a challenge. You guys met it. Thank you. you. Liliana Vasquez, thanks Thank so much. You.